Hey, hey, YouTube. How's everything? Look what I got. Yes, I got an AMD 1090T 6 core. 6 core, wow. 6 core CPU. Now, if you really want a good, good priced uh, CPU, like bang for buck, uh, or like gang bang for buck with this thing. Knight jumps queen! Oh. Bishop jumps queen! Oh. Oh. Horns jump queen! Oh. Oh. Gang bang! Oh. Jump the queen! Uh, I suggest getting one of these. Uh, actually, I suggest getting the 1055T or 1050T, whatever they call it, because it's even more bang for buck. This is more expensive and it's the difference is not justifiable, the difference between the performance of the two. Um, you see, the, I would highly recommend this for like video editing, Photoshop, uh, 3D Max, 3D Softwares, Maya, whatever, and AutoCAD and all of that designing tools and stuff. For gaming, this is very does very well, but the Intel beats it. But the price is really, really, really well worth it. Especially if you're like a designer, like video editor slash um, photographer slash whatever slash gamer, this would be the best because it's very well rounded. Uh, especially because it has the uh, turbo, which does the following. It kind of cancels out a few cores and boosts the speed of a few cores. So games, for example, right now use two cores to four cores. Some games use four cores like I think um, Battlefield and definitely GTA 4 and other games. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of, most games right now use two cores only. Core 2 Dio could beat a quad core maybe. Uh, actually in a lot of cases I've seen that. So more cores isn't exactly better. Maybe in the future, yes, but right now, no. So six cores might not have an advantage, most probably will not have an advantage over four cores uh, or two cores. Uh, so this is good for designers and if you want to be future-proof. Uh, now, let's start the unboxing of whatever this. Now, I can't find something to rip this thing apart. Let's just try with my finger. No, I damaged the box. No, damaged the box. Okay. So let's open this thing. Open! Okay. So it, this is like for my hard disks. You can check the other video. Now, let's see what it comes with. Okay. Get the CPU on the side. Okay. And the AMD Fan 2 sticker right there. See it? And the CPU. You get a small advanced mac micro devices. The processor with a huge ass booklet. Whoa, that's a big ass booklet. Okay, no, no, still more. No, still, still more. Holy crap. Okay, so it's different languages. It's teaching you how to install the CPU. Could be useful. Okay, let's check out the other stuff. I guess this is the CPU cooler. Uh, now, if you're going to overclock this thing, which you most probably should, then this is like, uh, okay, this is, this is good, heat sink, fan, nice, yeah, okay, some heat pipes over there, and it's like, uh, flat surface too, okay, that's nice, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this baby. Check the unboxing for this baby. Again, let's just review with this thing. It's very, very good for designers. Excellent, no-brainer choice for designers. For people who want future-proof CPUs, this is good. Uh, gamers, this will work really nice. But if you have, uh, this is not better than an Intel in gaming. Uh, most cases, not better than an Intel. Again, okay. You can check the benchmarks. I can post a few links if you want. Um, that's about it for this unboxing, that's what it comes with, and uh, please note that it comes with uh, thermal paste already on, you just gotta take off the cover and it's ready. Uh, yes, thermal paste right there. Uh, that's about it for this unboxing, check my other unboxings.